because um, the packer that came in and got my elk yesterday said that all the elk are low, which makes sense because we haven't found a bunch of water. But what he said was that all the grass up here isn't near as good as down below, so all the elk are low. And all the, there's a bull shot a couple of days ago, like right off the road, it was like the 350. So we haven't seen any of that up here. So we decided to go low today, hoping that we'd get into them. We're about where, where we're sitting right now. We're 0.77 miles from the road as the crow flies. But so far we haven't really had any action. Plus we forgot the bugle tube so we can't really bugle. And they're not bugling anyway so. We did a calling sequence and that didn't stir anything up. So I don't really know what our plan is now. We're kinda, kinda shit out of luck. Okay, we forgot the bugle tube back at camp. So Hunter's going to try to improvise here. It's not loud though. Yeah, but it worked. It really worked good. <laughs> Maybe hold it further out. Surprised by that. I really am. I really thought that would happen. Wait, let me get my release on just in case. <laughs> Pro tip aspen trees, rub them off, and you can have a little bit of sunscreen action going on. No, this could either, I just had this as a whim, so I don't know if it's actually right, but hopefully I don't like break out and like a rash or something on my face, but it's hot. We're going to do it. So again, we spent our afternoon walking around looking for elk sign and trying to get something to respond to calls. After going unsuccessful down at lower elevations, we decided to work our way back up to our main drainage and see if we could set up a plan for the afternoon. After getting there, we were scratching our heads again with no bugles and no responses. So we were trying to get a plan for the next morning and came up with a crazy idea. So last night was a fail. So tonight, I mean tonight, it's 4.15 and we're going up to the top of the mountain. So it's early. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you there. Okay, so we made it to the top. <clears throat> and we heard a bugle. Where? This is heard bullion. Right here. Right there. And that day we saw those elk right up in here. Feeding. Spot, we just spotted a cow right up there on that ridge, but she went over that way. So I think we're going to still work our way that way. I'm hoping they're not going to just keep going that way, though. But it's pretty cool up here. We're way up here. It's like 11 4. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so we walked all the way up and around and uh, we got up on a different trail 
and we wrapped it down and around to where we thought we heard bugles and we tried to bugle get something fired up but nothing nothing wanted to respond we didn't see any elk sign so we were right above what we call herd bull hill so we figure our best chance is to drop back down in here and try to do a calling sequence and hope something is around and comes in but overall we've done a lot of hiking this trip and we've done more hiking than hunting it seems so pretty frustrating there's really not any elk up in this drainage this year so people say they're low we've seen them high I don't know but we're gonna try to do a calling sequence and hope we have some more luck <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> okay, so we're back to camp a little early tonight. We're gonna head off the mountain tomorrow. Hunter's gotta go catch his plane uh, tomorrow to get out of here. And then Dad and I were originally gonna stay a couple extra days, but the elk are just not here. Um, they're not in our drainage, and we've <laughs> we've hiked slash hunted more hiking than hunting um, the entire drainage we've went to every place we could possibly think of and more we've put on seven to ten miles every single day ten today ten today we went straight up to the top of the mountain saw a lot of muleys today we don't have muley tags yeah. it was a really good place to eat some chips um, but overall the elk are just not here all the sign that we're seeing is like a week old it had rain and there was moisture in the ground still, but it's too dry. Yeah, so we're gonna head out here early. We're glad that we got an elk. We wish we could have gotten more or had more better experiences, but that's just how the year went because I think it's just way too dry. They've had a drought here for a while, um, and there's really nothing you can do about it. I wish we tried to stay as mobile as we possibly could. We hunted every possible place we could on this on this um but dad and i are gonna walk off the mountain and hunt our way off and try to find something low because um they're saying that all the elk are low right by the river down at the bottom so who knows maybe we'll find them there but we've been saying that for a while but uh yeah overall it's been a it's been a good hike and a good hunt and uh if we have some good action tomorrow morning I'll include in the video but if not we'll probably just wrap it up here so if you guys like the video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and to subscribe to see some future content so thanks peace out